Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video, I thought I'd show you how to boot into i3 without a display manager. But if, uh, a display manager, if we come to the Arch Linux wiki, is just a graphical login manager that just uses, uh, that is displayed right after the boot process instead of going into a default shell, which is just looks like a command prompt. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do tonight is this xinitrc, which is just a basic shell script uh, that is just at the front end of starting the xorg. So you can execute desktop environments, window managers, and any other programs that are reliant on the x server. So I'll show you what mine looks like. Well, actually, really quick. Uh, I just want to show you what the default looks like. So this is located in the Etsy slash S scale. Um, and then you do just copy it to your root folder. So right here is what it looks like by default. It's just a simple bash script here. that You just have this, which is just telling you to boot into it. And then, as you can see here, you can do GNOME, KDE, XFCE, Window Maker, um, Ice Man Window Manager, Black Box. So anything that you can think of, you can start. So any of the desktop environments or window managers, you can start it with the XNRC. I feel like this is going to be in handy because in the next Ubuntu 15.04 release, uh, they're going to be switching over to System D and many others are going to be switching over to system D. So it just using a display manager it could cause um, it to take longer to boot into uh, your desktop environment or whatever. So I'll show you what my uh, my boot up looks like right now. So if you go to sudo system sorry we don't need the sudo system ctl slash analyze. Actually I just did this before. Here we go. System D. So as you can see it's 34 seconds but if I go here sorry if I look to see what it is that's causing that it's just uh, one of my programs. If that wasn't there it's about 20 seconds but if I had a display manager it would be double this. So I'll show you guys what my xinitrc file looks like. So again, I'm just going to use gedit so you guys can see. I actually use vim most of the time, but I have a dark theme, so it's just to make sure that you guys see what my uh, configs look like. So for right here, again, it's the bash. Uh, this line right here is part of my terminal, which is the RxVT Unicode, so that just merges in, and then the nitrogen is for my wallpaper. This just guarantees that it just gets restored on boot up, and then this is the daemon for the uh, RxVT Unicode. Udisky is a program that, um, if you did not have this uh, with i3, and you, you try to plug in a flash drive or a geek stick. Uh, and it doesn't show up, this program does make sure that it does show up. Compton is for my transparency and then uh, this is to make sure that my paste bin um, syncs because uh, later I, I, I can do a whole video on this if you guys want but if you right click like highlight and right click on something or you uh, control C for whatever reason they just are completely different and you could have a, something different than uh, what you tried highlighting so this right here auto cut cell is to sync these both together and then the pulse audio so if you're booting into with X in it RC Pulse Audio is very, very sketchy on if it actually does start up or not. So this is uh, guaranteeing that this is uh, that um, 
that Pulse Audio starts. And then all you would have to do to boot into i3 is just do exec space i3 or awesome or mate session as you can see right here. So that's what that looks like. So that's one part of uh, what you need to do to boot into um, into i3. The second part is that you need to put something into your either your bash rc file or z shell rc file um, to make sure that it does start the xorg. So I'll show you what that looks like really quick here. As you see down here below, it's right here. So all it all this says and does is once you type in your credentials, your username and your password, it boots, it just starts X or the XORG. So that's all you need to do for this to do. So one last step. So if you're using a display manager such as GDM or KDM for GNOME and KDE, all you would have to do in System D is go System CTL Disable GDM dot service or KDM dot service, and then that will disable that, and then you can just boot into the shell automatically, and you'll notice that you'll boot in uh, very quickly. There is a way to automatically just go right into the um, go right into the shell without having to put in your username and password, but I still like to do that just as a uh, just in case someone does get a hold of my machine, they won't know what my password or my username might be. So that's all I have to do. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video. If you have any questions, uh, please put them down in the comment section. I will put the <clears throat> what you need to put in your bash or C file, and I will leave a link to my uh, my GitHub is where I have all my config, config configuration files. So uh, that's it. That's all I have for this video, and I will catch you guys later.